Gun. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, full hole oh, and. Uh, Wait, oh, stop the. Okay, that was not good. I don't know if they're on the right spot. Uh, don't worry, we can fix it as we go. And, uh, well, this is going to be an interesting grand final. So Actually, yeah, they're perfect. They're perfect. Uh, oh, this is randoms. They went double random, random dittos. Is this. Okay, let's go in and, uh, yeah, this is, like, somewhat of a small tradition, but they do know most of the characters that random usually gives them. So as he gets hit with the dash attack, oh, and, uh, never that's mind, that's not... I don't really know what to say about this match. I don't know how Berg plays Ice Climbers. Uh... Well, like, okay, usual matchups be like Ice Climbers being able to, like, space them out. But Bull yes. Hall, as you see here, not giving Berg much of a window. In fact, uh, denying the other well, climber right Berg, there. I'm surprised Berg didn't go in there. He, he needs Nana, honestly. He can't recover without Nana, so if he gets skimped even a little bit, yeah, he's dead. I, I feel like Berg should do so, like try and stay with Nana a bit more than he is. Yeah, oh, he just oh, let Nana there. die there. There goes the partner. Berg needs to learn to approach when, uh, because Bohol's focusing way too hard on Nana, but Berg's not punishing that at all, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay, with the Obsession read, like, Bo Berg can try to get a kill. Like, you're not completely helpless with uh, a solo climber. Like, you can still make that trip right there. But a lot of what makes Ice Climbers really scary. Oh, that kills. What yeah. was that DI? Well, more like dash attack just straight up hurts. Okay, now we got the climber. And uh, Bullhaw just slowly gained a hit. There you yeah, go, finally a... gets a kill with, for Berg. Uh oh, uh, now, you're that? now you're okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, and that you. Like, now nah, they're gonna be fine, they'll be fine. Both characters can recover very well from here. And Bullhaw gained a little flashy now that Waft's in play. Like, any nair, up air. Like, any I don't know hit? if he knows any waft combos. Uh, well, the mere threat of waft can do this. Although he might have to burn it if might have to burn it if he's not careful. And Berg slowly bringing the game back. Oh, he actually got the desync right there for a few seconds. There's that's, a tree that stopped. will kill. And he loses his waft. And yeah, this is gonna bring the whole game back at this rate. Berg doing a lot better than he was in the beginning. Oh, being a little bit scared to approach, actually. Oh, um, well, yeah, like, now you're actually catching where Wario can go. Because, like, all that airspeed, but Wario still has to deal with disjoints. Yeah. There was a bit of a weird trade as Wario got the other climber instead of, uh, Nana, I think? Oh, uh, gets the other climber instead, so he'll gladly take the trade. In fact, yeah. just straight up choosing to bully that one. There you go. There's a little topo right oh, there. Oh, I was fishing for that. No, the <laughs> actually stood for a few seconds while the chomp was going on. So, caught a bit of a lucky break there. But yeah, Wario bullying in. Like, Wario can definitely bully oh, with that's dash it. attack. Nope, the one climber's still in. But you yeah, gotta make the that back. Oh, never mind. And looks like Bohol takes game one. Game one going to Bull Hall where, uh, well, I would tell you who that we would see like a repeat, but uh, I oh. don't think we're, but uh, I don't, I think we're going to be committed to all the random trips unless Berg decides to break out Incineroar. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, going double random again. This is, this is going to be a trip. I'll tell you that much. Uh, alright, cool. well actually like we're getting like some of the common characters today. We got Cloud and Lucy, so these are like the usual picks that we see. So now it's just a matter of how well your spacing is going to be against another sortie. Like, factoring like the way both players usually like to play, like, 
it's going to be interesting for Bird because he's usually the more reactive and passive player, and Bullhall, yeah, Bullhall can usually aggressive. be the more aggressive one. And with the kits that these characters have, they actually both get rewarded for how they play because right, that right there gets an early lead for Berg. Like Cloud is able to play like any kind of style at this point, so he can definitely choose to wait and throw off blade beams and stuff, while Bullhall is just choosing to do damage and all. And unfortunately right now, Bullhall Bull not getting anything going right there. Oh, all right, trying to get, think you were Smash 4 Cloud right there. Oh, you really thought you were Smash 4 Cloud yeah, with uh, the way that up there landed. Looks like this, this is a very even match. They both look very comfortable with their characters, which is very interesting. Yeah, like I'm actually, I'm really surprised with the way that uh, Cloud, that Berg has been controlling Cloud. Like, I'm actually thinking you should, you should play Cloud more often if, in that case. I don't know, man. I had, I feel like Berg's gonna be sticking to Incineroar. I don't, I don't think he's gonna be switching to Cloud. But who knows? Maybe to cover matchups. All right, just choosing to get on ledge. No, just trying to land and Bullhall. Bullhall's getting all like these tiny straight hits, but they're never leading up to the kill that he looks for. And Berg, meanwhile, just gets those two hits, and there you go. Oh, all right, I thought he would go for like the neutral B for to break the shield. Oh, oh, doesn't get that. Okay, choosing to let it go. Down, gets back through. Berg, this is like Berg's game completely. Yeah. Berg is, I, I don't think we're gonna see a three stock here, but who knows. Berg is at a, oh, okay. oh yeah, that's it. All right, no, all right, no three stock, but we got a shot JV. Berg losing his momentum. Okay, no JV and no three stock. We'll gladly take the. Oh no! That's <laughs> and just like that, it's evened up. It even up. For real. <laughs> Bull it, oh, fucking. It's evened up for uh, the craziest reasons possible. Yeah. So now. Oh, oh no! I, I almost don't want. I really don't want to see. Bird no, that's it. That's not gonna kill. Oh yet. no! Did, did he save? He save? Just got the 2.9 count right there. But Berg's got the tool right here. That's it. No. no. He's alive, He's... living to 130. You cannot deny this future. Bullhall with the excellent uh, excellent DI. Okay. Gets the nair. He has the chest for edge. That's... That's just right. It... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. Was... okay. Okay, good. Okay. Berg takes game two. I was going to feel like this was... That was going to be... That could have been anyone's. No, I was gonna be like, this was gonna be the most robbed game I've seen <laughs> after that SD. But, uh, well, Berg managed to pull out. Yeah. Luck, and he lucked out near the end. And, uh, uh well, going, we're still on the random three. train. Like, to give, like, a little feedback as to why they would go random so much, is like, they played each other so many times, they know their characters inside and out. Yeah. So it's literally just to throw people off. Uh, oh, hey, speaking of which, we actually get Banjo, so I guess we are going to see yeah, Banjo We action. are going to see a Banjo play. We're also going to see Boho playing Snake. Which, uh... Sorry, Berg. This, this is... Again, this is going to be a little painful. Uh, do you play a little bit of Banjo? What? Do you play Banjo? I do not play Banjo. But I do know that Bo uh, Snake is not a very good... Uh, Snake is very good against Banjo. Well, uh, Banjo's not very good against Snake. All right, all right. Okay, like, I may have mentioned this, like, earlier against, uh, in game two, but they're both getting characters that they're oddly comfortable with. Oh, well, uh... That was funny. That was... That, I don't have any other words for that. That was funny. All right, actually taking a little bit of advantage of the juggle opportunity against Snake. And the uh, grenade egg choosing to cover the Cypher, so... Not exactly an easy escape for Snake right there. And Banjo being like a character who will get the kill eventually and well equipped to handle most hazards ultimate brings. Oh, try to bet it all with the side B. That's... No, he's no, fine. Not... He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Like I said, Banjo I can... I forgot that he doesn't go into special hall after that. Yeah. Like I said, Banjo can pretty much survive most of what this game offers thanks to the way his kit... His kit yeah. works.
If he gets sent horizontally, he has Wonder Wing. If he gets vertically, he has his uh, up B and uh, like his air dodge. Oh, whatever. okay, just straight up calls him out on that. Oh, you might. Oh no, that's, that's a miss input. Actually, yeah, that's it. Oh boy, Berg, I. Oh, <laughs> that was kind of funny. The, this is going to be a very silly game, the way this is shaping up to be. Yeah. It's actually kind of funny with how Banjo is responding with Grenade X to most of what Bull Hall is trying to accomplish with Snake. By most of what Bull Hall is trying to accomplish, do you mean grenades as well? Yeah, <laughs> like it's literally... grenades. Like this is literally grenades of the ma a match filled with grenades. Okay, never mind, just choosing, yeah. to, choosing to go fist the cuffs now. The crazy up smash, I don't know what he's trying to do there. Trying oh. to catch the roll, maybe? But that was. Yo, the, no, no fear on challenging the Wonder Wing, too. That's like the worst. That's like the best part right there. Oh, okay. That it pushes him off. Oh, that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he's going to make it back. He's going to make I saw, it back. I saw the attempt with a tilt, but uh, he got pushed up. Uh, <laughs> he blows himself. <laughs> oh, I guess he just forgot where it was. That's not going to take that in. Of the stock. That was the lingering move. Oh, phantom hit there. Okay, catches oh, him it. this time. So now Berg is a little stuck on where you can go versus Snake right here. Choosing to go Yolo Wonderwing, but no, he's all out. That's and it. That clip with the up tilt will take Bohol it. Bohol takes this game. Yeah, game four now. Yeah, we are approaching game four, so. It all depends on what the Wheel of Fortune decides to give them. Yeah. And like I said, they've been getting characters that they're oddly comfortable with. Or they're comfortable with the place that we've seen them. So, yeah. like, if I'm going to be a betting man, uh, Berg's going to get, like, Link and uh, Bohal's going to get, like... Uh, I'm, pre I'm, I'm predicting Pit. Damn. Well, uh, this is... <laughs> oh, this is oh, funny. Oh, this I is, like this so much. Oh, this is far I'm from sorry, what Sorry, Berg. These are. This is, this is. This is far from what I thought we'd get with both. Well, yeah. okay, no, like. Oh uh, uh, no, no, we're fine. We're fine. I just like I used to play uh, Jigglypuff, and this. It all depends on what Bullhole does here. If Bullhole decides to play lame, Berg, I'm sorry, this is just not going to go your way. But if Bullhole keeps approaching the way he does, then Berg actually has quite a great shot at winning this. All right, uh, this was like the, well, this wasn't really the worst matchup for Mac in Smash 4, but it was definitely not a fun one. And, uh, well, all right, he's getting, he's actually going to get the early lead and take the dance dividends. Uh oh, that's, this, all right, no, can, I'm not going to get the rest. Oh, oh, that was such a bad rest. I'm more surprised that didn't connect. And just like that, Mac gets like what really you, big leads. Uh oh, that's dead. Nope, nope, didn't go for the wall. The wall jump. Ball is that, uh, ball is just crouch. He's just squish. He pancake. Uh, like okay, like uh, it's weird, weird because we get a really emphasized ground fighter versus a very air, 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 air dominated fighter. So like the two styles are bound to clash, especially when Puff gets like the lead. Because like Except right now, for the fact that Puff is not doing the worst in the air, and that's oh, or that's Bird's uh, second stock. See, now Bohol plays lame, and that's it for Berg. Well, Berg would oh, have no, to... Oh, no, he pushes in. Uh, like, Max really has to, like, pick and choose those battles, and, well, he's able to bring it back right there. Oh, Actually, no, don't do it, don't oh, do it, don't it. do it. Oh! <laughs> I... I was... Like, Sing interesting. is... Sing is, like, the weirdest hitbox. That uh, was how long it lingers. Not really. It's not a lingering hitbox. It's a multi-hit. Oh? Ba, ba, ba. But that's the hitbox for it. Okay, challenges it through and manages to get the up smash. Like, I am actually really curious if he would go for like the down, the down angle up smash. Uh oh, but KO punch on deck. That's there it. it is. Looks like Berg takes. Are this we? is going to game five. Are Grand we really? Final's going to game five. Are we really going to see a reset here? Oh yeah, who's winners? Uh, Bullhall's winners, I believe. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Bullhole's in winners and Berg's in losers. So, uh... Oh, oops. I am going to be really amazed if we actually do get a reset. Uh, 
All right, and okay. Uh, now again, there are those sorties, and uh, all right, I'm gonna be more by a little biased because I do play Shulk, so I'm good. So I'm more knowledgeable about him than uh, Corin, right? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that was. Uh, oh my. That god. was interesting. Oh my god. I, I, I gotta say, I have zero bias here. I play Kirby, I lose to both these characters. Alright, okay. Okay, ignoring the SD. Uh... Alright, uh, okay. Oh. Finding the find a little rhythm and Shulk can afford to engage from longer distance. No, oh, no, I thought, that, I thought it was another one. I was just scared. No, no, he's fine. Buster? Oh. Just shooting it up for a little bit of damage. Like, Shulk does have the means to, like, he doesn't have to play too aggressive against the fellow swordsman. Oh, he's gonna go all in on this, and that's, that's gonna be the backfire. I did, I'm surprised we haven't seen Bulgo for Shield Monado. That's something very good for this matchup <laughs> that he has just hasn't gone for. Okay, finding this ground, finally getting the damage. Here's the Smash Our Fear. Not gonna kill because you don't have rage. Oh, I wouldn't go that that's, far. Yeah, Berg's dead. Okay. I'll be. Uh -huh. I'm gonna see like if Bullhaw can regain a little bit of momentum because Berg, <laughs> but the way Corin's move, well, all the stuff Corin gets, he can't afford to play like the reactive range and just poke with like side B and back air. I think this might be it actually. Bullhaw says 75. If he gets a back air, he's done. Oh no, that that's like the power is gone. A Shulk near. Mr. Okay. Buster Monado, trying to build up that damage. Not tried able. to respond, but uh, nearly nearly ate it for his efforts. Uh, no, he's not choosing to go shield to live. All, all Berg needs here is uh, back air, and ball has gone. This is... Okay, choosing to be staying vanilla a little That's longer. it! The back air, no, he's... Yeah. Wow, that actually did kill. Like I said. And looks like Berg will be taking game three and the set. That we're, is grand finals. We're, we actually got a reset. Yeah. All right, I guess we did get a reset. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it resets. Uh, I'm a little bit dumb. Oh, the score. Oh yes. Uh, uh well, I guess we're continuing the random train then, and uh, oh wow, one of them's definitely lucked out. <laughs> and I'm sure. No, you good? You got it. Oh, all right, I see. All right, one of them really lucked out there, as uh, they both do have a little bit of experience with Terry, and I'm pretty sure Bull wishing he got him instead of Rosalina. Well, all right. Uh, well, no, it's actually small bits of curiosity because it gets a much different feel when you have to fight a character you yourself actually know about, and unfortunately for. Berg right now, or Bullhall, I should say. Okay, didn't get caught by Burn Knuckle. But, like, all those big hitboxes Terry has, like, he is not afraid to bully whoever's, like, in front of him. I, 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 I'm trying to say as uh, unbiased as possible, but I, I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely hate Rosalina Luma. Oh wow, the downside actually catching him. Luma trying to sneak by. Luma just not gonna be there to bail Man. him out. Oh, Berg has Ghost Toss. That, oh, no, that takes the great it. That's spike right there. Done. Great, great play spike. by Bullhead here, here. Like that's like really good considering like the way Terry is able to, to yeah. have like a bunch of boxes he, with yeah. most of his recovery options. He killed him at the perfect time there. As soon as he reached that 100, Bullhead was had him done. All right, choosing to go for like the power dunk. I guess power dunk off of Luma, but not on Rosalina. Like it's like again, we're seeing like the styles of how both players play. Like Berg is able to like go for Berg being a little bit more patient was compared to Bohan, so he's not gonna go pulling the trigger just yet, and maybe let it do a little while he gets the hit and Bohan. Usually being the more aggressive player, but he's gonna have to back off a little. 
Although right now he's able to control just how much Terry is able to run free, which would really help out a lot considering just how much Terry hurts and how is it safe he can be on block. The whole playing is very smart, very safe. Uh oh, oh, you the don't want to be there. Oh, that gets punished. Oh, you don't want to be there. Luma is on very low health actually. Okay, gets the grab. Oh, Luma. Is he, able to not oh, he doesn't punish with the Luma. Like, it's a little weird because of the way Ultimate changed the Luma mechanics. Yeah. All right, kills him off before Go, Go becomes Berg a factor. still not able to get anything off of the Go sauce. Oh. Uh oh Berg Try tries to catch him with Burn Knuckle. Does not work out. Oh, are we going to see a punish? With no, no punish with Luma. Just choosing to let it go. Trying to get, like, the these chunky block strings that you have to you do not want to deal with. Yeah, but Rose, uh, Luma dies there. And now Berg going a little too much. Crack shoot surprisingly not crossing up. Like, now all these straight hits are like, I, they're getting out at like the worst possible time for Berg. Oh, that was like a really big courage that Rosalina can do. Well, no down well, smash uh, there. Berg whittling at Luma's, uh, whittling at Luma's health. We we need to see him approach and win neutral because if he does, he's just kind of sitting back and when he does approach, he just kind of gets smacked around. Jab, oh, jab, that's power dunk. Da not the no. percent, not the stock, not the stock. Okay, but he is able to get the nair. Like he is getting approach to go per to go, so he's not completely honest. In fact, this would be like the time where he really would be able to rock yeah. the benefits. Boho really is not taking advantage of his placement of Luma. Oh, th there go Jabs. He yeah, actually skipped the... Okay, yeah, he still gets up. Uh, oh, oh, up the back on stage. Power That's charge it. taking the kill. Okay, now the situation has changed a little bit. He's got to get this kill before Terry can go nuts. Oh, that's it. No, that's going to do it. Boho takes game one. Boho finally taking the game one off the reset. I... It's a little in interesting to see, like, some of the decisions made, but it ultimately paid off in Bullhaw's favor at the end. And there's, like, very little the way this game can actually go. All right, Lucario and Dark Sam. It's like, okay, Bullhaw's getting, like, all the passive, the more zoner-based characters compared to, uh, what we usually place. Yeah, Bohal's a very aggressive player, and I don't think he's very uh, comfortable with what he's getting right now. Well, we shall see. We've seen we've seen both players pull out some of the weirder characters in the game. So it's just a matter of time to see like what they can do, and I, and just to, you might say he's not comfortable. Well, he's showing like some really good decision making here. Boom! Right, right in the middle, and Lucario dies. So now it's Berg's time to go for the response. And was Lucario... Lucario usually known for a character that needs to be losing or at a disadvantage to really start playing the game. He's still got like really good aerials and ways to like space and pressure. Yeah. So Berg. it's more of how much Berg can exploit this. Oh, okay. He tried to get a little bit with the dare. But yeah, like now with like Aura and Rage being at a, a really good spot, he can definitely sneak some very early kills and just harass for more ranges. But Bullhaw Steam one step ahead, almost tried to catch him with the charge shot. Or the back here can just straight up delete him. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. That's... You don't want to stay in the corner right there. Okay, there you go. Back air taking the. Well, not Bird quite taking the shot. Oh, yeah, Bird this time it shot. does. Okay. Like for Berg, this is like as good as it's gonna get right now because Aura is slowly approaching the max, and uh, or he can just kill him before Aura becomes a a factor. <laughs> All right, but we're all going like to game two, so uh, let's see what else Random decides to bring for us. All right, no pauses here. We're diving straight back in. Oh, he actually hovered around me brawler. Like, I know he's got a brawler on hand, but uh, I don't think the game's going to give it to 
Pokemon okay. train. <laughs> well, they're both gonna get. Well, you got like one really weird character and one Two heavily. Points. Oh yeah, we. Saw, I knew this was gonna ball switch straight to uh, Charizard. Yeah. Oh, how fitting. <laughs> Outfitting given like his character he pool. Off, he switches off the fire turtle to switch into the fire lizard. Oh, okay, but uh, this might have not been the best call for the for Bullhaw, but I mean, Bullhaw's a big or uh, uh, Charizard's big. He he he's not gonna die at 80. He won't die for a while, but he's gonna have to deal with a lot of what Plant can generally do, especially with the poison gas and Patui. Okay, trying to go for a little bit of the F tilt. And. Oh, that's, uh, that's. No, that's not stock. Not quite the stock, but it will hit for super effective damage. Hmm. And meanwhile, Bird getting trying to get a little start with the plant. You. Like, plant's known for, like, very scary ledge trapping, but you're not. But you need to work real fast to get said trapping there. And Bullhaul, now, like, what a heavy was rage. Uh, Everything's gonna hurt a lot if this continues. Yeah. Well, oh that's my it. god! Oh, already. Okay, I think he's found his comfort pick. Yeah. All right. Gonna gotta get around Patui. There's Flare Blitz. Uh, no, you still have your jump. You still have your jump, so you're still in this. Is that a double battle? Or is that doubles? Are they doing doubles friendlies? That's crazy. Oh, uh, uh, oh, there, okay, choosing not to let go. To do. Down oh, smash, yes. choosing to escape. Oh my god, oh, he's are actually. Are we gonna see a three stock? We might if the. Wait, is he gonna go for the down air? He, he oh, that did, but. funny if he got it. Oh, the, oh, oh. So he has a second chance? No. And that down smash. smash. Yep. Uh, three stocks. 200%. Bohal takes game three and wins. That, uh.